What's up Shoreline City Youth and Middle School, 5th to 11th graders, what is up y'all? I'm here today with Lexi Watkins. What's up? Today is going to be an incredible Sunday, y'all. We are super excited for what's about to happen. But yes. before we begin, we have birthday shout outs. Hey, let's go, shout -out. let's go. Okay, where are the birthdays at? In our middle school. Let's go middle school. Famo. Caleb. Yes, come what's on Caleb. Up, Caleb Rinkin. We love you, and I we hope do. that's how yes. you say your last name. Come on. But we see you. Good try. And Elijah Eggbond. <laughs> not how to say your last name either, but hey, happy that's birthday! That's a pretty cool name, yo. It is. I'd be called Eggbond if I wanted to. I know, right? All right, high schoolers, where you at? Let's go, youth. Okay, we got Ebony Minta, Haley Garcia, Madison Clark, Nathan Torres. Happy birthday. Have the best day, y'all. We love y'all so, so much. We hope you get spoiled. Yes, we spoiled. do. So spoiled. So <laughs> spoiled. With a T. With a T. But with that being said, yeah. um, Joe, if I were to tell you that today's going to be the best day ever, no cap, yeah. what do you think that means when I say no cap at the end like, of that sentence? No cap? Is that what you mean? That is not what I mean. And I hope okay. that a lot of you do know what I mean. And if you <laughs> don't, you're about to get educated. Come on. We're about to talk about some slang words. Slang words. Let's That's see it. That's right. Watch us embarrass ourselves. Ready? Take it away. Let's do this. Extra. Someone that is being over the top too much. You're just doing the most. A little something, something, you know. If you look up extra in the dictionary, it's me. Milo's a little extra. I got Milo. Wait, wait. Yeah, it's extra. It means more. In addition to. I'll give you that. That's slangish. But it's a real word. It's not slang. It, it is slang. I don't know what this means. I have no idea what this word means. I absolutely don't know what this means. This is when you go to the barber shop and your hair falls on the ground after it's cut. It is clipped. I'm assuming it's not about a haircut. In past tense. Okay, this is past tense. So the hair is already on the ground. Your hair has been clipped. What do you think it means? We could make something shorter. Honey. <laughs> Shouldn't it say like no cap? I don't know if that's really appropriate. A cap that you uh, a gun cap. I'm assuming it's talking about like a bullet. So if you're looking at a cup and you fill it up, there's a cap limit. It say no cap means like um no lie, like no lie. All right, we're moving on. The house is on. <laughs> The fire emoji is probably my number one most used emoji. It's like when you want to hype something up. It's fire. Shoreline City, fire, my guy. That is lit. Fire, fire, fire. Like, it's awesome. Awesome, yeah. Like rapid fire? Well, I don't, I don't know about rapid fire, but. Fire. 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 This girl is on fire. That was a great song. Yeah. Can you sing players. it? Can you sing the song? I don't know, fire, dun, dun, dun. Oh, I was thinking of a different song. <laughs> no, this is, this is the Ohio Players. This is like nine, circa 1975. Fire. Dude, you messed up. But people in the 90s would have said like, oops, I did it again. Ooh. Maybe you have to be tall in order for you to say this word. Oh, yeah, oh no, oh no, yeah, big yikes. I don't, yeah, I'm not even gonna guess. Luke, Luke, what? Luke, 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 what? Luke, Luke, what? Luke, 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 and the person's illiterate. Somebody that messed up in English class. Two hours later. Ooh, it's a look. Okay, this is just another way to spell L O O K. Bruh. Look like you're looking good. Um. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeet. 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 Y'all, everybody exit timely. Y'all and everybody are the same thing. I know. Yeet. Yeet. Yeet, y'all. Yeet. Yeet. Try and use it in a sentence. Did you eat yet? Yeet. Someone that just discovered the word yeet, they just go yeet, yeet, yeet. Dude, this is bad. 
It's abbreviation from front to rear. Everybody FR. <laughs> Fur. Fur. <laughs> that means Federal Reserve. For real, for real. That's what it means. Uh, FR. For real? Is that what it means? It means what? Federal Reserve. Federal Reserve. That kind of makes sense. Why just Why just not say Federal Reserve? It doesn't mean that. I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> Low key, something that's under rep. Just cash. Low key. Interesting. Yeah. Low key, calm, easy going. Uh... We keep it on the D L millennial style. What? What? But like, yo, low key. That music was lit. It was fire. Period. Low key, MJ is the greatest basketball player of all time, and you can uh, you can take my word for that. Yeah, fight me, LeBron fans. Oh, Zoomers. Zoomers. That's what we are every day when we're on Zoom calls. We're Zoomers. <laughs> Zoom. It sounds like a drug, maybe that makes you run fast. All of Gen Z babies. It's instead of boomers, zoomers. Oh! It's something that I am not. I am, but like I said, worst one. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Period. Period T. Period. Is this something at the end of the sentence? That's done. I'm done with it. Period. I'm the worst zoomer there is. So straight to the point. Period. And then it's just a little extra because you have to add the T to it. Period. Oh, final say. Like, Michael Jordan was the best basketball player to ever grace our earth. Period. Yeah, here we go. Lit. <laughs> okay, everyone knows. My mom knows what this is. It's dope. It's fire. It's off the charts. Something is hype. My wife is a lot more lit than I am. Okay, boomer. Okay, boomer. Okay, boomer. Uh, when I hear this phrase, I think like somebody's talking to their dog. I'm a sports dude, and there was a, a sports caster named Boomer Esiason. So I'm assuming a person that's from Oklahoma in Boomer Center. That's like somebody's dog named Boomer. Oh, there must be a Sooner fan. Yeah, like Boomer Esiason. Is what you would say to your grandma when she didn't know that you could put a remote on your phone instead of just using a real remote. And by your grandma, I mean me. Yeah, I got nothing. I couldn't even give you like a funny answer. It just looks weird. Yeah, that could be. Sick. Yeah, sick. I guess you're not imitating the snake. I think it's like it's funny. Like um, you see someone do something funny, but instead of like, <laughs> you're like. Like your outfit's on point. What is your fit? My fit is, uh, in my opinion, I think it's nice. I think it's nice. Salty. 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 I still don't know 100% what it means. Kind of like throwing shade. But I know that it's when needs to get over something, but they can't. Maybe you don't feel sassy. Like you, you come across. You're not being nice. Bro. Kind of like you when you don't have your coffee on one. It's, it's. This is not like when you put too much of your ramen noodle packet. It's another explanation. I really don't know what I'm talking about, to be honest with you. 
Stan. 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 I have no idea what this means. Your first boyfriend. We were talking about Boomer earlier. Now we're talking about Stan. Who are all these people? My friend whose name was Stanley. My uncle Stan. I'm Mike Stan. Like when you approve of something. That's like if you like a relationship, you stand the relationship. We don't stand 2020. But like Christmas, I stand Christmas. Slay. Um, this is what I do every Sunday. I'm kidding. I don't slay every Sunday. Slay! Don't you tell them what we do, Um. Flexing on them. Flex. Like you're showing off. Flex. You're like stunning on people. I'm going to flex on you. Showy. Bragging about themselves. Can y'all flex for me? I don't want to rip my shirt. I'm going to bump you up. You name drop. Shaquille O'Neal. You're like, oh yeah, me and my boy shop were at Albertsons the other day. I, I. Flex. Shade. Shade. But if it was no H, then we'd say Shade. You're trying to throw someone under the bus. I have never thought about that. I'm not going to say it. When someone is being salty. That's when somebody's talking bad about you. You got, you got beef with someone. If you like to grow shade, I hope you can take it in. It's like a palm tree, you see that? Shade, throwing shade. Yes, you can throw it. If you get some shade thrown at you, just duck. It'll go right over your head. Oh, yeah. That, like, get away? Yeah. Wait, are you for real right now? I don't go off, man. <laughs> go. Yeah. <off. laughs> he went off. Like, they went crazy. Like, he, like, like somebody's on the damn phone. They went, they went off. But then you don't have to go in there. Okay, but go off. Go off. No. That's okay. Sure. Or if you put it together, then it's just a misspelled goof. <laughs> Are you sure about that? I. <laughs> Before anyone else. That person that you fall in love with. You got a bae? I don't have a bae. Jesus is bae. But bae's like, you're boo. I'm like, I don't have a bae right now, but we're praying him in. Slay! Won't you tell me what we do, guys? We have no idea. Y'all don't know what bae is, really. Julia, Jacob is my bae. I will always love you. Y'all, how funny. We was laugh that? at the same time every time. Did you realize that? <laughs> Anyways, but yes, yeah, that was Go. hilarious. That wow. was Okay, cool. who was your favorite? Matt. Matt. So it was pretty funny. Front to rear, everybody! Front to rear! Imagine imagine what? using that same context in a sentence. Like, seriously? Oh. Front to rear. Like, front oh, to yes. Rear. We need to make it a thing. We need to make it a thing. When we're for <laughs> real about something, like, I'm so serious, front to rear. That's how serious we I am. We're the only ones that would know that. Yeah. But y'all, I'm, I'm so excited about today. If you so didn't much. notice, the title of today is mm -hmm. that, it's a question, is a Christian a slang word? Now, why are we asking that question? We love talking about all the slang words. A yeah. slang word, what it is, is it's, we take another word and we change the meaning of it. Mm -hmm. And I feel like Joe, and I feel like with you, all of us, yep. we know the word Christian has been changed. That's real. When people think of Christian, mm -hmm. they don't actually think of what I believe yeah. they should be thinking because wow. we've kind That's of real. tainted it. We've yeah. kind of tainted it. We've kind of made it. Um, something that's like not, it's kind of religion, mm. religion, restriction. Well, Sometimes people who live a Christian life, I've done this before. Yeah. They say one thing and they live a different thing. But the thing is, it's, it's not a religion. It's not. So when talk about really that. Thinking. So what is the actual meaning of Christian? What is, really what question. should that mean? When we think of the word Christian, yeah. what should we think of? When I think of what we do as Christ like leaders, it's a relationship. Oh, it's not a religion. It's a relationship. Yes. The reason why I say that is because God himself wants to build that relationship with us. Wow. That's why he sent his son Jesus. Like, wow. to be really honest with y'all, truth, the truth, for real, front to rear, whatever you want to say, <laughs> he wants to build a relationship. Now, wow. the thing about relationships is that you think about your mother, right? Or your dad or someone really, really close to you. Uh -huh. You get to know them. Yeah. You get to know them. You build that relationship with them. Mm -hmm. you, you trust them. And that's what God is asking for, just a relationship. A religion is something that you can turn on and off. 
Wow. That's the thing. You know, the thing about a, re a relationship too, is mm -hmm. kind of like, like you and Morgan or like people y'all know that are oh, married or like on. best friends. Who's yep. your best friend? Y'all act the same. Like, that's have you ever true. noticed that like you say the same things, you finish each other's sentences. That's so true. Me and Joe have been spending a lot of time together. That's why we clap at the same yeah. time every time. <laughs> But literally, you start yep. looking like them. So if you start mm -hmm. being in a relationship with God, yep, yep. when we start thinking of Christian, we think of relationship, you're going to start acting like him. That's true. And I've, I've heard something. Um, have you ever heard of instinct? Mm, and no there's way. this word that I've heard, slime, which I don't even know what Slime. That. I've heard this. <laughs> it's another slang word. I right. wish I would have used it. Slime is like we're, we're together. We're on this. We're on the same page. On the same page, right? Right? Yep. Right? Yep. We, right? Yep. we hope. But that's funny that you said that. But I thought about this. When you build a relationship, Especially to the creator of the universe. Yeah. Think about think about someone famous that you really love. I think of like LeBron James or someone like that, right? Beyonce. Really, Beyonce, real, really cool celebrities, right? Just think about this. God created their minds, y'all. Oh. God gave them that gift. Yep. So that's that's who we have a relationship with. Now, Ooh, like with, the creator of those people. Exactly right. That's way bigger of a deal. Those who we look up to, God created them. Oh. So with that being said, we serve a God that is not boring, y'all. No. So Lexi, I have a question for you. Okay. What is your thoughts on this? If, if God is this creator, this magnificent being that we worship, is he really boring? <laughs> how offensive would it be if I said yes? Like, right? <laughs> like how offensive would that be to God? Y'all, um... <laughs> the joy that you have, the fun that you have, God created all of it. Yeah. He created all of it. I remember me going from not being, I was a Christian. I always called myself a Christian, right? But it's, yeah. this is the thing. We say we're Christians, right. but then not all of us, but some of us have experienced this, but we live a whole different life. Mm -hmm. Whenever I got in a relationship with Jesus, yeah. when on. Jesus became my hashtag bae, mm -hmm. okay? Come on. I started living a life I realized that was limitless. I'm not kidding. Like, like I started realizing that my joy didn't have to end. Like, wow. I started realizing that there was a correlation from sin. Like, because this is what people think of when they think mm -hmm. of Christians. They don't just think of boring. They think of, you're put in a box. I'm not going to invite that person to that party wow. because wow. all they do is they just obey, 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 obey. They don't drink. They don't blah, blah, blah. And that's yeah. true. We don't wow. do those things. And the reason we don't is because what we've all learned so about good. when we backstab our friends, when we talk bad about when we gossip, when we do these things that God doesn't want us to do, what happens? Right. It's right. only fun for a second. That's true. It's only that's fun true. for a second. And then you you lose relationships. And, yeah. and then you realize, man, that wasn't worth it. Bullying that person wasn't worth that's it. So Showing up to that party wasn't worth it. Wow. And so I started seeing a trend. And mm -hmm. I started realizing that when I did these things, not living in a relationship mm -hmm. with Jesus, but living in a re relationship with the world, yeah. I that's when I got bored. That's when I not only got bored, but I got mad, especially because I got grounded all the time. Right. And so I literally was bored. I was wow. stuck. But... Another facet of that mm -hmm. is living in a relationship with God. You start to do things that you never thought that you could do. That's real. It's so That's real, so y'all. Please take our word for this. Wow. I never thought that I could ever move to Dallas. I never thought I could live in a big city. Yep. I never thought that I could live on my own at 23. Yep. I never thought that I could be a pastor at 23. That's I never cool. thought so cool. that I could do these things. And you know what? It's true. I really can't do these things. <laughs> but God literally says, hey, Lex, when you're, hey, Joe, hey, you, whenever you're in a relationship with me, yep. it's no longer boring. You get to do things that you never thought you could do. So think of your biggest, wildest dreams. God put those in your heart for a reason so yeah. you can live those out, but with him and with his life and with his love. That's powerful. So that's the thing. So, so, good. so, okay, another thing about being a Christian, Joe, that people say mm -hmm. uh, or people live out, I feel like I've lived this out when I was first um, – <laughs> when I was first calling myself a Christian, yeah. I would be a Christian on Sunday. Mm. I would go to church on Sunday. I wouldn't cuss on Sunday. Right, I wouldn't, right. you know, turn up on Sunday. I would be nice on Sunday. Get lit. <laughs> Get lit. No. <Nope. laughs> um, but when it came to Monday and it came to school yeah. and my parents weren't with me and I wasn't at church, it, I turned it off. So can you hit on that? That's like, so why nice. is that a bad thing? And I actually touched on that. With the relationship, you can't turn that off. A religion, oh. you can't. Right? It's a Come system. On. Religions yeah. are a system that people can put in a box where yeah. if it's a relationship, you can't turn that off. No. So think about this. You can't turn who the father is off, our heavenly father. Mm -mm. And you can't even turn off what he has done. Wow. He loves you so, so much. He gave his one and only son. That should blow our minds away. Absolutely. And, he, and matter of fact, I thought about Jesus 
and how much of a homie he was, like OG, like real Me. gangster, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> he even loved someone that threw shade on him. Oh. AKA Judas, right? Judas betrayed him. Oh. But not realizing that was that was pretty much part of God's plan, which is crazy to me. Yeah. But Jesus still treated him the same because he didn't turn that off. He didn't turn off oh, come on. his relationship with God. Come on. And he still loved Judas regardless. Come Judas on. betrayed him. And I feel like that's the same thing with us. Wow. Um, with so, the, yeah. oh, no, I was just going to say, like, a practical example of that yeah. is whenever our friend, like, says something bad about us on mm -hmm. TikTok, because this happened to my sister, Ooh, actually. Someone it. someone commented on her TikTok and yeah. was like, hey, um, what you're doing is wrong, or yeah. what you're blah, 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 blah. Like, they were saying something that wasn't true about mm -hmm. her, yeah. and wow. she wanted to lash back, right? Wow, wow, wow. She didn't. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. She wanted to be like, hey, no, you're wrong. You're blah, 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 and throw shade on them. Yeah. But what you're saying when you're in a relationship with Jesus is you don't change. That's you become real. that person that loves everybody. And that's, I know that's hard. That's right. that's but man, God gives us the, the the way to do that. And honestly, you get that joy and that excitement from living that life in yeah. confidence, right? That's real. That's real. So at the end of the day, we're just saying that this love is so, so powerful that you can't even turn it off. No. That's what love is. Love is literally defining, okay, God literally saw you for who you could be. Oh, he on. saw what you could be. That's why he sent his son, Jesus. That's why he's like, you know what? Once you've accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you will be living a limitless life. Come on. And that's something you cannot turn on or off. It'll just stay on the whole time. Yeah. And that's what we're talking about today. And yeah. I always thought about this passage of scripture, John 13, 35. And I want you to follow with me on this. Put this on your notebooks right now. And this is how we live this out practically. And it says this, by this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love mm. one another. I'm going back to this turning on and off thing. The thing is, is that when we say we're a Christian, it's not just Sundays. Yeah. It's Monday, it's throughout the week. And yeah. even before you go to bed, when you wake up, when I wake up, practically, when I wake up, I always thank him. I say, you know what? I thank you Come for on. loving me, even despite my flaws. Yeah. But today, I'm going to live out who you call me to be. Yeah. So we need to be the ones, Joe, then, that changes that slang. Right. That changes the slang for Christian back to what it's supposed to be. Yep. And it's supposed to be when when I say, hey, Joe, this is my friend mm -hmm. um, Susie, and she's a Christian. When you think of Susie and you think of, oh, I heard that she's a Christian. Yeah, yeah. We don't want the first thing to be, oh, man, she lives in a box to life. Oh well, man, she true. she um, is hypocritical. She right. does one thing, says one thing, and does another mm -hmm. thing. She lives a double life. No, we want to change that stigma of the world exactly that they right. think of us, and may they think of man that person must love like Jesus loved. That person must then accept yeah. me for who I am because yep. that's the reality. What we have done is we've said, hey, we're Christians, we love you, but then we really, in the end, if you lived a certain life, we didn't love them. And we don't want to be those Christians. Yeah. We want to be those Christians who love people no matter right. what. And that will be attached to that word. Yeah. Let's be the ones on. that change the way the world views Christians. Yeah. It's our mandate. It's our, it's our responsibility. Yeah. And so what I want to ask us right now and go into, first of all, you need to know that there's a God in heaven that loves the heck out of you. Yes. Like, he doesn't low-key love you. He high-key loves oh, you. Yeah. Like, he loves you front to rear. Right. Exactly right. <laughs> like, so much, y'all. I don't know if you know the story of the prodigal son, but it's a story of this, this son who <laughs> he he kind of kind of turned his back on his dad. Mm. Like, he turned his back on him. Like, he lived a double life. Like, he was like, yeah, I'll be a Christian on Sunday, but Monday comes up, I'm changing it. Yeah. And we've all been there. If you're there... If you have yet to run into these the Father's arms, if you have yet to love Him and mm -hmm. live with Him in this relationship with Him, and you've turned your back on Him, yeah. or maybe you've never even known who God is, right. He wants you to know that what happened in that story with the prodigal son is the son went back to the dad, and he didn't throw shade on him. He didn't hate on Come him. On. He didn't say, okay, yeah, you're good, but I need you to work for me right. as a slave. No. When he could have done that, he offered himself to work as a slave. Yeah. And the dad said, no, I'm going to throw you a party. I'm going to put a robe of many colors right. on you. I'm going to give you gold. I'm going to celebrate. I'm yep. going to do whatever I can do to love the heck out of you because you came home. So and so God is saying right now, come home. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's not live this double life anymore because it's not fun. Yeah. It's not fun. It's boring. He wants us to live a life in love with him. So I'm going to ask you to close your eyes wherever you're at right now. 
wherever you are. And, and I want you, if you're not alone right now, I want you to get alone. Pause this video because the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the creator of heaven and earth, the creator of you, the one who's, lo who's loved you since you were born yeah. wants yeah. to hug you. He wants to show you that he has more for you. Yeah. He wants to show you that you're good enough. And so if you want in on that love today and you have not accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior in your life, if you haven't made him number one, if you haven't put him in the driver's seat of your life, I want you to just put your hand over your heart. If you want to do that today, if you want to make him that, that, that Savior, and if you want to welcome him into your heart, that's amazing. Okay, I want you to repeat this prayer after me. And in a moment, the Holy Spirit will enter your heart and you will be changed forever. Say, dear Jesus, I ask you, to forgive me of all my sins. I admit I've made mistakes, but today I give you my heart. I give you my life. Give me the power to live for you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Wow, we love wow, you all wow. so, so much. So powerful. Thank you so much for that, Lexi. Thank you, Joe. That was so powerful good. Powerful moment. And hey, we want y'all to be plugged in for such a time as this. Oh, we yeah. do not want you by yourselves. Don't be isolated, y'all. No. You have a community that will be there for you, that will love on you. Come on, relationships is so, so, so important. Mm -hmm. And so we want get you plugged in. Yeah. We want you to type this message to this number. You ready? You ready? At YTHSC to the number 81010. Do it. You'll get all the updates. Y'all, starting tomorrow, we have student internship. Ah! Fifth to eleventh graders, y'all. You do not want to miss it. Yes, you All should be right, excited, y'all. All right, to real. I'm excited. <laughs> Fi, y'all, for real, for real. For real it for will real. change your life forever. It Please, will. we want you to get plugged it in. It is going to be amazing. It is going to be amazing. It will transform your life, y'all. Yeah. Have the best week. We cannot wait to get connected with you. Love y'all.